your first postseason game here now in a while. Like, I mean, how, how excited are you for, for the Atlanta Hawks fans here for postseason? Yeah, you know, our fans have been great, you know, this whole year. And, and uh, I think it's everybody, our players, looking forward to having an opportunity to play at home. And, you know, the NBA playoffs are, you know, a special, uh, a special tournament. And anytime you have a, a home game, it makes it even you know, more so. After watching the film, just tactically, I know you guys had some, you know, adjustments in practice yesterday. What was maybe one or two of the biggest things that, that you saw from game two? Well, you know, I think when you shoot 48 threes, mm -hmm. you know, you're hopeful that more of them are going to go in. I think you, know, you, you always look at your shot distribution and wonder, did we take too many of this or too many of that? But in the end, you kind of, you need to do, you try to impose your will, but also take what's available. And so we need to, we need to keep shooting. Know, and, and I think being at home will help help with that. You know, I don't think anybody's lost any confidence. Guys have bought into everything we're doing, um, and, and generating good shots when they're not threes as well, which means really making quick decisions. I think that's a big thing for us, um, so that they they have such you know positional size, and they're able to really shrink the floor. If you if you don't make a quick read and a quick decision. It can get a lot harder when you're playing in a crowd. So we, we need to really not play in a crowd. And, you know, running um, is something that, that takes care of a lot of that. You know, so I, I really like to see us continue to try to run um, in space and stay aggressive. As much as anything, we just need to, um, to continue to stay aggressive. Defensively, um, you know, we did a lot of different things against Tatum at various times. Um, you know, Derek White's been terrific. He shot the ball off the dribble really well, um, which he's capable of doing. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of nuanced things that um, that we want to try to improve, and some other things that you know this is we're down you know 0-2, so it's um, it's obviously a big game for a lot of reasons. When uh, speaking of Derek, how do you react to? him getting going in game one and game two the way he did um, when you're so focused on Jalen and Jason. And they went three guards. They've kind of gone small a lot of the series. How do you react to that as well? Yeah, that's a little bit of a misnomer when you go small with those guys, right? They're small in 6'5", 6'6", 6'8". You know, it, like you said, it's, it's, it's hard. You're, you're probably not going to hit Derek White consistently off of Jason Tatum, you know, and when they have. Um, that's why you know that's why he's been so important and so good there's some opportunities that are there because you're focused on other guys but i think you have to focus we it's not that we haven't been focused on him he's played very very well you know he's made plays he's shot the ball off the dribble catch and shoot he's defended i mean more than anything he's just played well and we need to play well you know and, and i think you know the awareness of, of what kind of player he is is there you know his play hasn't surprised anybody. Um, we just have to do more to impact it, and not at the expense of you know of, of those other guys. Quinn, going back to the the running uh, in the end of game one and the beginning of game two, you guys were able to create pace with your defense. Is that one of the things that you're going to try to focus on more to give you more opportunities to get a break? That, that's you know that's where your you know your offense helps your defense and your defense helps your offense. You know those things in, in this game are even more connected than um, than some other things. So yeah, if, if we can get stops and, and get out, and even if you know they're not easy baskets, you know to play quick in the shot clock, um, you know they're good shots. And usually, if you get a good shot, you you have a greater opportunity to defend against it. So our, our execution offensively is really, really important. Um, that's another way to you know, have an opportunity to set our defense. Offensive rebounding helps set our defense. Um, <coughs> because we did, we've done a pretty good job. It's a little bit like the, the question you know, on uh, Derek White. You know, you, they're, they lead the league in catch and shoot threes, and we've taken away some of the catch and shoot threes, but you know, we, we haven't taken away the paint. You know, and, and we need to do a better job of the paint. So. They get to the paint a number of different ways. I know we were talking about us running, um, but to the extent that we can run, um, you know, I think that helps us defensively as well. Coach, uh, what's key to unlocking John Collins' offense? And is that an emphasis going into game three? I think we got a lot of guys that we want to unlock. 
So everything in the kitchen. Um, our guys are working, you know, and everybody's getting shots, and John's played great. You know, he shot the ball really well. Um, you know, I'm saying this series, um, we haven't shot the ball as well as we have. And that, that happens sometimes. So I've got a lot of confidence in him. You know, take his open looks. You know, he'll get a post up every now and then. We roll pop, mix that up. And we've got a number of guys that, that I think are looking forward to playing. And um, I just, the one thing we've done is we've competed. You know, and I just, I feel like if we stay aggressive and, you know, tweak a few things, and some guys, um, you know, will, will play better as a team. Do you have any more questions? Okay.